Hey guys, wanna tell you thank you for checking out my video here. Uh, got a little story to share with everyone. About two weeks ago, me and the wife, we were sitting in the living room. It was about 10.30 at night, and um, we heard chickens just raising sand. I mean, you could tell something had them upset. We kind of figured that, you know, had a fox skin in the chicken house or possum, raccoon, or, or something like that. Well, um, we went out, grabbed our pistols, went out, looked accounted for all the chickens and um, we were gonna make one last swing of the backyard and uh, some of the woods um, some of the backyard is wooded as you can see here and um, as we started making the final pass in the backyard checking out everything something in the woods made a ruckus and you could just tell that we kind of startled whatever you know um, was there it kind of made you know a, ruckus in the in the brush and um, all of a sudden I hear this deepest growl I ever heard you know and I spent quite a bit of time in the woods and stuff and never heard anything uh, like this before growling it was real deep and um, we surprised it and it surprised us long story short we grabbed our firearm and we were facing that area and then all of a sudden, we heard it just take off through the woods. Um, it was big, whatever it was. And uh, for sure, it wasn't no deer growling like that. Um, we knew we need to go back in the house and, and get something with a little bit more firepower. So we did. We grabbed a 12-gauge shotgun and I grabbed my uh, 30 6 We got the spotlight. We started scanning the woods in the backyard, trying to find out what this was, you know. Never heard anything like it before. And um, we spent about 30, 40 minutes out in the backyard looking and um, checking back on the chickens again and stuff. And we never did find anything. The next day, uh, we come back to where we heard the, the growl come from. I noticed that there was a cedar tree back here behind us, had some um, scratch marks up it pretty deep marks and from what I can tell um, looks like a pretty big cat and um, you know I've heard stories about the cats you know mountain lions in Northeast Texas you know panther um, you'll hear about you know different stories about from some of the some of the folks that's been around in this area for a long time um, but I haven't heard anything recently and uh, kind of surprising it's kind of what I feel like uh, what was in the backyard that night so uh, we went ahead and deployed a couple of trail cameras we got them in the woods put out a little bit of bait sardines cat food a little bit of dog food mixed together and um, try to entice whatever it was to come back and hopefully we could get a picture of it you know um, just mind-boggling that you know going in the backyard and just hearing a I mean it it, it it was it was totally different than that um, but it, it was deep and um, shook us up. Well, um, you know, the day before that, Melissa, she lets her chickens out and um, let them free range in the afternoon. Well, that afternoon, she had came out here into the woods and um, to the wood line, and she was sitting right there on this log, you know, playing with the chickens and stuff. Um, so it was it was pretty concerning, whatever it was. But um, we deployed some uh, trail cams and we got some footage um, so far. We've got some raccoons, we got some possums, we got several different foxes that's been coming in. Um, we weren't able to get whatever growled that night. And um, I'm gonna provide updates on this video. Um, but uh, one of the updates I wanna provide is last night we got two large uh, coyotes that was um, that passed through here. Now we uh, we know we have plenty of coyotes in this area and stuff, but um, and I, if I'm not mistaken, it's still breeding season for the coyotes. Um, but they uh, they uh, were pretty close to the house last night, closer than usual. Um, probably you know the little bait that we put out in front of the trail cams, probably. Uh, help attract them there but um hoping to catch whatever this was growling at us 
here pretty soon and be able to share it with everyone. Um, it's a big cat. He got to go. There's no doubt. Um, especially uh, coming that close to the house. But um, hopefully uh, we scared him off that night and he just don't come back. But um, with that being said, I would like to catch a good little video clip of him just to see him one, one time to know what that was that was growling at us in the woods. We just wanted to provide this update and uh, hope y'all enjoy looking at some of the uh, trail cam pictures that we post and stuff. And um, once again, thanks for coming and checking out the video.